All right, so we're going to unclog the coffee maker. It is um, you put in two cups of water normally, and it, it's only putting out one and a half cup, and then it steams up because it's clogged. So we're going to put two cups of vinegar, white vinegar, into the into the coffee maker. That'll help get all the minerals that's built up from the water. And we'll go ahead and get that to percolate. It'll go through the system and it'll unclog all the minerals inside there. So I'll, I'm going to pause the video. It'll take about two minutes for it to actually do the percolating. And we'll come back and you'll see the clear vinegar has it has all the sediment in there and we'll probably have to repeat this process maybe you know, two to three times to get the coffee espresso machine to be clear and then after that we'll run about a gallon and eh, maybe not that much maybe half a gallon of water just to, to get all that all that vinegar out of there and we're good to go for another five to six months again or maybe longer so it's starting to go through it's percol it's already percolating some of the vinegar you see the, the Cup is starting. You see how it's starting to, to steam up a little bit. So that's going to clean all the all the little area where the coffee comes through and the grinds as well as the water. It's going to be a little bit of a, a lot of pressure being created. So I'll get back to you in a minute here once everything's done. You can see most of it's already come out, but it didn't come up to the two to the well two cup mark, which is four cups really, but it's like a two cup mark. So. You see how all that steam's coming through? So it's still a little bit clogged. We'll run it one more time after there it goes. That it just now let go. You see how it so we'll run it one more time and clear the system one more time. So probably three times we'll probably do it. Let's we'll see it went all the way to four cups now. Now it's all the way up. So we'll go ahead and um, run it one more time. And you can see how dirty it is, you see. If that was clear vinegar. And now it's all mucky. All right, so here we go. Second pass. The coffee maker is already hot, so I was able to start steaming right away and percolating. And you can tell, look, look how fast it's doing it now. So it just be, um, I think this might be the last run. I just have to do it twice, basically. And uh, then we'll throw some fresh water in there to clean everything out. And we're good to go for a little bit. We'll just see how it acts. So this time I went all the way to the four cup mark, which is probably about a half a cup as far as ounces. So like four to four to five ounces or something like that in that range. So it did it a lot quicker. Obviously the coffee coffee maker is already hot um, and ready to go. So now we're gonna run just fresh water through it and see how how um, how clean it is. We'll come back to you with fresh water now. All right, we're back. So this is filtered water. It's fresh. Uh, actually, we use the refrigerator filter water that's at the door of the fridge. This kind of thing right there. And uh, so we. this is just the first run at just fresh water. We're going to run it through. The espresso machine is still hot because we haven't unplugged it and left it on. So we're going to let that run, do a run through. And we'll see how dirty or clean it's actually coming out. And we'll run it until the water comes out fairly clear. All right, so it's been about a minute and a half to two minutes, and the water's already come through here. You can tell the water's uh, pretty clear. So we're going to do one more uh, run with the water, clear water, just uh, to freshen out the system, get all that vinegar flavor out of there. And, um, I mean, I would run it a few more times. It's really up to you. But we've already uh, unclogged the coffee maker and at this point you know if you had to make coffee of course I'd, I'd get all that vinegar flavor out first but um it's good to go just gotta uh, rinse it out all right here we go all right so now we're back uh, like i said another minute and a half two minutes second this is the second run at the, um, the actual clear uh clean water so at this point you could tell that the water doesn't have any sediment in there it's just you know clean so I would run it one more time just to take make sure that the vinegar flavor is out of it. I mean, the pots, uh, excuse me, the coffee espresso machine is now clean, ready to go. And um, probably took about 10 minutes at the most, you know, between, um, you know, just let it, let it uh, 
percolate all the water, then reopening the lid on top right there. And it's real simple. I mean, just basic vinegar. We have it right here. White vinegar from Walmart, if that's where you want to get it or wherever. We have a, a gallon. We use it for a lot of things. But uh, basically, that's all you need. All right. Hope this was helpful. And you guys, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. All right. Bye-bye.